we've all been there when you're ready to start working on music in Reaper and then when you press play nothing comes out and in order to produce music it goes without saying that you need to be able to hear it. This video will help you to troubleshoot and fix any issues in Reaper regarding no sound coming out. So first let's look at the why. Why isn't Reaper producing any sound? It's important to diagnose the issue before you actually fix it. I'm going to outline the possible causes for this now and then I'll go through them in more detail in their own sections throughout the video. So the most likely causes for this issue are the audio device settings in Reaper where maybe the audio interface isn't being picked up or the inputs and outputs haven't been correctly assigned, your audio settings on your computer not being set up correctly, any issues with your audio interface hardware and the cables connecting it whether that's for USB, power or audio and finally software glitches. So first let's take a look at the audio settings in Reaper. To do this we go to options preferences or you can press Control p or command p if you're on a mac then the preference window will show up you can then go to device under the audio tab and here is where we can change all of the audio device settings so first we have the audio system which for me is aco and then the aco driver which is going to be my audio interface driver specifically so for me i have a focus right 8920 so i'm going to click on the focus right usb audio if you don't see your audio interface in this drop down menu then it's either going to be an issue with the drivers an issue with the actual audio interface piece of hardware or it could be any of the cables connecting it so for audio drivers you have a few options and they include aco wasapi and direct sound typically i found that when you get an audio interface and you download the drivers for it the type of driver you get is already predetermined by what you've bought however sometimes you do get a choice and in that case i've always gone for aco in all honesty i don't think that it matters that much what kind of driver you have but i've always chosen aco and it's been a safe bet for me and i've used it on multiple devices and set up so I can't really go wrong with it. To find the appropriate driver for your audio interface just type in the name of your audio interface followed by the word driver into Google and then in the search results you'll definitely find the relevant website where you can download the driver for your audio interface and the drivers for your audio interface are free so make sure not to go on a sketchy site and download a paid one because that's not a thing. If you're still having issues after adjusting the audio device settings, then you may need to adjust the inputs and outputs on your audio interface within Reaper. And you could do this from the same audio device settings that we were just using. So within here, you can see that there's a range for inputs and a range for outputs where you've got the first input, the last output, I've got eight inputs. So obviously input one to input eight works for me. And then the output range is very similar. You just put the first output that you want to be included up to the last output that you want to be included. So it's best to check that the outputs you're using on your audio interface are actually included in this range because if it's not then reaper's not going to pick it up so double check that if that isn't the case you can just click on it and then press the output that you want it to be up until the last one and it's as easy as that in the case that you're experiencing these issues whilst trying to record or trying to play something into reaper like a guitar or a synth then this could be an issue with the inputs and similarly to the outputs you need to make sure that the inputs you're using on your audio interface are included in this range and also make sure that you've clicked enable inputs so that reaper knows to pick them up now if after you've changed the input settings and you're still having this issue then it's probably an issue issue with the monitoring settings in Reaper and this is very easy to fix. All you have to do is go to the track that you're trying to use and ensure that the record armed button is on so that it picks up everything and also check that you're using the correct input on the actual track because you can select between any of your inputs so if you're plugged into input one make sure that it's on input one and then to check whether monitoring is enabled all you have to do is right click on the record armed button and check whether monitor input has a tick next to it which mine doesn't so if I click that then that's going to allow me to hear what I'm actually playing into Reaper and you do have different monitoring options I'll be honest I always just use the monitor input option but play about with them and see what you like the most it's always a good idea to check these audio settings periodically and especially when you've got a new piece of hardware or even when there's software updates or driver updates because they can sometimes change settings which is annoying but if you keep on top of it then it won't be as much of a hassle for you. The great thing about Reaper is you can actually save your settings so that you can import them into another instance of Reaper whether you've just had an upgrade you've got a new computer whatever the reason you can import your preferences so they're exactly the same as they were and how you like them. To do this just go to preferences and as we mentioned the shortcut for that is control p and you want to go to the top at the general tab and then from here just click export configuration and you can choose what parts of Reaper you actually want to save and when you click save it'll come up with a save window and you can keep it in a safe place and then whenever you want to import 
the configuration, you go to the same tab in preferences and you just click on import configuration and it will come up with an open window so that you can find the file, load it in, and then you're sorted. Another common cause of this is when you have too many plugins running on your system and your CPU or RAM just can't handle it. And there is a way to check for this. So if you go to view and then performance meter here, or you can press control alt P or command alt P if you're on a Mac. And here you can see the overall CPU usage and the overall RAM usage here. And if I stretch this out, you can also see all of the different tracks CPU usages and that is super helpful because then it enables you to locate the problem track even sooner. If this is the cause of the issue there are a couple of things you can do. One you can either remove plugins or swap them out for something that's less CPU intensive or you can render the track that has the intensive plugin on it but remember if you render it then you're not going to be able to change any of the settings on that plugin after the fact. What I like to do in this situation is save a copy of the project and then I will render out the track in the new project, but in the old project, I still have that track with the plugin on it so I can manipulate it and change it. If I need to at a later stage, render it out and then pop it back into the new project. I just find it allows more flexibility, but I'm also not being slowed down by the fact that my system can't handle the plugin. Of course, this can also be caused by software bugs in Reaper, in your system or your drivers. So to minimize the impact of these bugs, it's always recommended to stay on top of updating your system drivers and Reaper. If these fixes haven't worked for you, then you should check all of the external factors. This includes your hardware, which is like your audio interface, your speakers, your headphones, and any cables which are connecting these devices together, whether it's a USB cable, speaker cable, headphone cable, any other kind of audio cable, whatever is in your system could be faulty, so it's worth checking it. You can test things like your speakers, audio interface, and headphones by trying to use them on a different software than Reaper. And you can check cables by either swapping out the cables in your system or trying them on a different device. And then this way you can correctly diagnose which part of your system is causing this issue. I know it's extremely frustrating when you're taken out of the moment by these type of issues, but there are some things you can do to help prevent them popping up as often. If you keep up with software updates, driver updates, and any other updates in your system, it's less likely that there's gonna be bugs in there because they would have been fixed in the next patch. Remembering to save your preference settings whenever you change them for whatever reason, just so everything can be kept as you like it in case something goes wrong. Checking your audio interface and cables when this sort of thing does pop up will eliminate some of the stress of trying to figure out what it is. You can just do that as a sort of routine and then hopefully nothing in your system is broken because obviously then that requires you to buy something else but if it is then you can get to that problem quickly and just remembering to check your audio settings in reaper especially when you're using new equipment when there's been a software update or anything that's changed in your system and if you remember these tips and utilize them then you'll be able to prevent these issues from happening as often and be able to get to the fun part of music rather than figuring out what's going wrong. Thanks for watching this video. If you've had any experience with this topic or have any further questions, then please leave a comment in the section below and then we can get an answer to you as quickly as possible. For more in-depth tutorials and tips, check out our website at homemusicmaker.com and also join our forum at forum.homemusicmaker.com. If you like this video, then please consider liking, subscribing and hitting that notifications bell so that you never miss a video from us again. And finally, if you found this information useful, then share it with your music producer friends so that you can pass on the knowledge. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.